to be asked to make this speech today. Um, my official title has been Witness. I think Ed thought by not actually picking a best man he could get away with no one taking the piss out of him. <laughs> <laughs> but then I am his brother, so... You know. <laughs> uh, I do tend to waffle on as well, so if you give me some kind of signal if I'm going on too long, something like a standing ovation, something like that. <laughs> uh, what can I tell you? Um, will Ed be suited to married life? I think we all know the answer is yes. I have some reasons that you may not know about <laughs> why I think he'd be uh, suited to married life. Uh, number one uh, is diplomacy. When Ed and I were kids, uh, we were playing in the house one day, we must have been about four and seven at the time, and uh, Dad was in the room at the time, and um, a smell began to emanate from, <laughs> from our corner of the room. <laughs> Dad came over and pointed at us and he said, which one of you has made that smell? <laughs> so Ed and I looked up and neither of us wanted to get told off, and we looked at each other and we could see that we didn't want the other person to get told off either, so we confirmed for a... Uh, we conferred for a little while and eventually drew the conclusion that we both made the same <laughs> at exactly the same time. <laughs> so that's the kind of guy Ed is. He will happily take collective responsibility for a fart. <laughs> <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly he's, uh, Ed is blessed and he's quite sensitive. Um, a few years after the uh, smell incident, <laughs> uh, we went on a family holiday to Spain. <laughs> you know where this is going. Don't you? <laughs> it was on the flight back. We were sitting on, on the airplane, and um, Ed started to cry. I mean, really, Ron Burgundy in a phone booth. <laughs> His eyes out. And we're like, don't, don't worry, Ed. You know, the holiday's over, but you know, we'll go on holiday again soon, and it's all right. We'll be back home and everything. And he was like, no, no, that's not why I'm crying. I miss Brian. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, not, not you, Uncle Brian. <laughs> well, no, I'm sure you did. <laughs> no, uh, Brian uh, was Ed's pet aunt. He <laughs> befriended <laughs> in, in that Spanish villa. <laughs> <laughs> and they got really as close as a, a small boy and an ant. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, did, you did miss him when you came home. But thanks to the age of the internet <laughs> and a little bit of research, we got in touch with the people who own the villa, we did some digging around, and um, this morning arrived a telegram. <laughs> so I'd like to read to you, Ed, if I may. Senor Eduardo, <laughs> it has been 20 years. You never write, you never call. I admit that I too was upset when you left and I cried tiny and tear. <laughs> now I hear you are to be married. And I know the friendship of a boy and an ant doesn't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. <laughs> but we'll always have Fuengarola. <laughs> Yours, Brian T. <laughs> P.S. Did it never occur to you that it might not have been the same ant every day? <laughs> <laughs> Alluded to in his uh, in his speech, he did pursue Sarah for a while, and um, you know the night he convinced Sarah to to, to start you know a proper relationship with him. Um, and I don't want to use the phrase chat up line, I think it I think it undersells it. It was more of a marketing presentation. <laughs> 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 um, he simply said this. He sat Sarah down and he said, This this is friendship. <laughs> this this is love. And this is us. Uh, 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 as we said, that's the best pickup line our family's ever used. Uh, since Roy used to tell everyone he was the uh, bloke inside the bungle costume. <laughs> 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 Uh, so there you 
you have it, everybody. And I didn't even mention that on the stag weekend you exposed yourself to a bus queue. <laughs> All shouting, who wants to ride the number one to pleasure? <laughs> Plenty of room on top. <laughs> <laughs> so a toast, ladies and gentlemen, to Sarah, who not only tolerates Edward's smell, <laughs> but finds it strangely delicious. <laughs> and to my baby brother Edward, richest guy I know. The bride and groom, everybody. The bride and groom. Oh, yeah. Let's go get pissed. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.